We're here at AD Link in San Jose. Talk to the executive team about the IoT and what's going on. And one of the questions that I always uh, look at is, what are the risks or what are people concerned with? And maybe what's real and what's overblown? That's really an interesting question. And if you look at the two sides of the equation, the OT side and the IT side, as we were discussing earlier, typically from the OT perspective, they don't see any risks. It's about the way they want to do business. But then you interject the IT piece, and the panic ensues. Security. You're not bringing somebody else's equipment. You want to speak to yeah, some of you that? know, it's interesting because the challenge here ends up being that the OT organization has a set of measuring sticks that it has to meet. I have to reduce costs by this much. I have to increase the turns of my inventory by this much this year. Those are tangible measures that make an impact on the street. And so the, in, the intensity with which OT pursues a solution to those issues is sometimes staggering to IT people. Frightening. Who like, yeah, frightening, because yep. they are used to a much more project-oriented, step-by-step approach, rather than, in some situations, a leapfrog situation. Um, and they're told that it's going to happen versus being part of the overall collaboration many right. times. The directive comes into IT on this will happen and it's coming from the highest levels. Right. Frightening. And, Frightening. That's, and that's what's going on in IoT. You have a lot of fear being introduced. Um, at a technology level, there are reasonable fears that certainly crop up as yes. OT looks at some of these um, whether they're the new technologies or rejiggering uh, existing technologies. Analytics has been around forever. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, condition monitoring has been around forever. Outsourced computing, it's been around for effectively ever. Blend those three things together, now we have an interesting problem. I visited a uh, pharmaceutical company a number of years ago and uh, they were conducting a number of IoT experiments. And you know the reality was they were being driven out of the OT organization, and the story was shared with me that you know the IT organization really had no Im ability to control what the engineering teams and the lab folks were doing mm -hmm. to explore mm -hmm. how these different technologies could impact the manufacture of uh, manufacture of drugs and the R and D process of drugs. Then uh, at one point, IT did its annual security audit. And they found a hundred pinholes through three layers of firewall where the password was password. <laughs> okay, so coming right off of um, areas where plants have been literally melted down, uh, Stuxnet, yes. you know, the, the widespread fear about hacking in the global, in the global world, from, for whether it's for national security purposes or for you know, black hat, type of uh, financial attacks to ransomware. There's, there are some real issues that are being raised by IT that have to be grappled with. Mm -hmm. Now what we've done in our solution business is we've started to survey the landscape of the kinds of partners we can be leveraging that have the trust uh, from IT and the experience to deal with those. And we've brought those into our fold. Okay, so it's not just about, hey, do I have the data? Do I have the analytics? Can I do the, the AI? Do I have the hardware? It's also about how is that platform managed? We've partnered with VMware mm -hmm. um, and are one of the launch partners for VMware's IoT Pulse technology, which is one of the key management technologies that's embedded in all of our IoT solutions. So now the IT, IoT organization that's leveraging an AD Link solution can leverage their standardized VMware platform and be looking at and using the same security policies, the same patch management processes, um, the same uh, physical ingress approaches that they use in their data centers for their, for their OT technologies. That really reduces the fear, which is, which is really the, the cause for the problem. Organ I think you're right. There's a lot of issues where right now it's about fear. Okay. And the fear is the what ifs which is why so many organizations are spending time on the non-value add pieces of the way that they define their IoT problems. They're afraid to disrupt their business models because they're afraid of the unknown about the things that they read about in the news. 
the organizations that are farther ahead are seeing the reality, which is if they don't disrupt their industries, they're going to be disrupted. Thanks for joining us. For more information, please use the link below.